Hello, HQTs. How are you guys doing today? We're about to turn your Monday blues into Monday moves. Money making moves at that. Anyone looking to cop a pair of those new Yeezy foam runners when they come out? Thumbs up in the chat if you are. See, I can save you like $400 right now. Just snag a pair of regular old Crocs for $20 instead. No one's going to know the difference. Trust me. There, that's a money making move to get you in the mood. In the mood for some quizzing. Do you feel it? Yes, you do. Welcome, guys. We are taking you back to school again. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your bad teacher, who hopes to help you reach at the jackpot and teach you some lessons while we're at it. Now, this is college movie night, so I hope you brought the popcorn and the beer pong as well, because we are going on a road trip to find out who's the real genius here. Is it going to be you? We're currently in the mix of HQ Season 6, and we are keeping it fresh like you freshmen. Have you been enjoying our new feature, Classes? This season, you'll be competing against each other for extra prizes, depending on how long you've been playing HQ. You're either a freshman, sophomore, junior, or a senior. And here's how to tell what class you're currently in. If you see a green book emoji next to your username, you are a freshman. A blue book means you're a sophomore. Red book means junior. And the brain emoji means you are a senior so what class are you in show us your class in the chat right now loud and proud now every week we'll give out prizes to all the active players on the winning team that's the team that's earned the most total points that week and now it's time to announce the class that crushed week one in an unexpected twist beating out the seniors and the freshmen the sophomores are the winner of last week their team scored a whopping six billion points you heard right six bill you have prizes coming your way soon guys congrats to you as for you other teams you'll need to step up your game to be teacher's pet next time won't you yeah you will now we're also giving out special prizes for perfect attendance that's when you make it to every game let's we'll see how well you do there as well now tonight, I'm going to ask you 15 questions. You have 10 seconds to tap that answer. If you get it right, you move on. If you get all 15 correct, you win or you split the cash prize. And this evening, we're giving away $5,000. All your spring breakers could have tons of fun in the sun with those finances. That's for sure. That's a good amount of cash right there. Now this week, we are bringing you Throwback Thursday with an HQ Classic game. 12 questions. Just like the old days, take a trip down memory lane with us at 9 p.m. on Thursday. Don't miss that. It's going to be fun. Now, since tonight is all about college movies, let's get an idea of which one is your fave. Out of these three movies, which do you love the most? Accepted, Pitch Perfect, or 22 Jump Street? Your favorite college movie? Mine's not on the list. That's not fair. But out of these three, which is the best one pitch perfect you're loving 51 percent of you all right that's the one we're going with then pitch perfect next question which fictional college would you want to attend faber university from Am animal house monster uh, university from monsters inc or harrison from old school ditch your real school and go to one of these but which one would you like to attend where would you have the most fun monsters of course more than 50 percent of your little monsters went for monsters all right last question which of these characters would you most want to hang out with stifler from american pie l woods from legally blonde or frank from old school i'm sure they'd all be a lot of fun i know which one you're gonna go for let's see if i am right Oh, all right, you surprised me. I thought you were going to go for Stifler. I'd like to hang out with him. L Woods, 50% of you, half of you want to hang out with L from Legally Blonde. All right, Reese Witherspoon. All right, students, it's time for some higher learning. Will you be the big man on campus or woman for that matter? Let's count it down, everyone. Okay, players, it's about that time. It's 
time to get to the quizzing. So let's go with Q1. Devon Miles, the main character in Drumline, plays what instrument? Electric violin, giant recorder, snare drum. A real classic college movie right there. If you went for giant recorder, that was a giant mistake, and you know it, don't you? Snare drum is the answer we were looking for. Were you ensnared there? 146,000 of you were. It's in the title, guys. Nick Cannon plays Devon, who joins a college marching band playing the snare drum. He's so cocky, though. He keeps banging on about how great he is and annoying everybody. Q2. Which of these is the name of a Pixar movie, Monsters University, Freight School, Evil Clown College? Sure you pick sir, the right answer. We kind of gave this one away though, didn't we? What's worse than the class clown? Well, a whole college of evil clowns, that's what. But the answer is Monsters University. You passed with flying colors, 154,000 if you did. Now, beware of the scarers, a monster who enters the human world at night to scare kids and harvest their screams for energy. And that movie's suitable for children, you say? Mm-hmm. Okay, now don't run into a savage without an extra life. You can use as many as three in a game, of course, so why not stock up right now? Do you see it on your screen? Go ahead and tap to buy one. You can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on the heart below. They'll work up to the final round. You'll be glad to hear. Here we go with Q3. How does this line end? Well, I got a number. How do you like... <laughs> How's the end? Fingers, apples, or windows? What goes in that blank space? Fingers, apples, or windows? Well, they're all interchangeable, really, aren't they? Any would make sense. Oh, it's baby Matt Damon. He's giving the finger when he says, how do you like them apples? Apples is the answer. And you like those apples a lot. 136,000 of you do. Matt's showing off to those dudes that he was able to score mini driver's number. He's a janitor with swag and superb math skills. A real ladies man, that guy. Yeah, it's true. Q4. In Pitch Perfect, a cappella hopeful's audition with what song? The sign, Since You've Been Gone, Teenage Dream. You gotta hit that perfect pitch again. You're on Q4. Me, me, me. Uh. Your teenage dream just became a nightmare. It's since you've been gone. Don't go anywhere. 91,000 of you aren't. That was kind of brutalish right there. Who can forget this scene from Pitch Perfect One? An ensemble audition of Kelly Clarkson since you've been gone. But don't go come back, guys. Use an extra life. Quick. All right. Make sure you got one of those handy as we move on to Q5. Which of these actors has not played a college student in a movie? Adam Sandler, Luke Wilson, or Jeremy Piven? He doesn't know what he's missing out on. They're all young at heart, but which of these guys has never served us a student role? Luke Wilson, you look hot right now, and that was a savage question. Yes, indeed, it was. 80,000 gone, 27,000 still in the game. That was savage, if ever I saw it. Luke and his middle-aged friends found a fraternity in old school, but never actually enroll as students. Just beware of the KY lube wrestling, okay? It could be deadly. Now, I'm sure you've scored a bunch of points already in today's game. Of course you have. But you can make that even more. Add a point multiplier to help you level up. It will work on the points you've just earned in the game and the ones you're about to earn coming up as well. And here's Q6 coming up right now. Almost. Any time now, any second, here we go. What's the name of the fake college Justin Long's character invents in Accepted? South Harmon, North Ohio State, West Arcadia. I just don't know what direction to go in. He wasn't accepted and accepted, so he made up an exceptional school called South Harmon. You are heading north in the game, 33,000 of you are. Long's character has a long list of college rejection letters, so he invents South Harmon Institute of Technology. What's that acronym? That bright young man deserves an A plus for that one. Q7, what is key to Elle's argument at the end of Legally Blonde, Fresh Perm, Barking Dog, Mismatched Outfit? It was the winning argument of that. Do you remember? 
A mismatched outfit will have the fashion police on your back, but it's a fresh perm. Who learned about the perm? 31,000 if you did. If you've had as many perms as the defendant, you'd know only too well that you can't shower right away with a perm. Then the whole story falls apart and that perm falls apart as well. Q8. How high stars a rapper from which New York group? Run DMC, G Unit, Wu Tang Clan. How high, so high that you can kiss the sky. How sick, so sick that you can suck my. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat. Uh, cash rules everything around me. Cream, did you cream? This is Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, you protected your neck. 29,000 of you did. How high stars Wu Tang member Method Man, along with Red Man, as two stoner students who get into some wild shenanigans at Harvard? How high? Too high, obviously. Ready for Q9? Of course you are, here we go. Which of these college movies won the most Oscars? Love Story, Goodwill Hunting, Whiplash. Most Oscars, hopefully you were counting. If you went for Goodwill, bad luck, ouch, it's Whiplash. Whipping yourselves into shape right there. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Another savage, double the savage in tonight's game. 28,000 gone, 2,000. 643 of you whipping the others into shape right now. Love Story snagged just one. Goodwill Hunting scored two. But Whiplash, the story of a kid who just wants to drum and his mean old band director drummed up three sound editing, yep, film editing and supporting actor as well. They count, you know, they do count. Q10, the central protagonist of Wit Stillman's Damsels in Distress are all named after what? Colors, Charlotte Bronte books or flowers? Who needs to be rescued? We're getting close, players. You may not be a damsel, but you will be distressed if you didn't pick flowers. Did you pick a bouquet right there? 10,000 of you did. Greta Gerwig stars as a young woman named Violet and her girl squad, Heather, Rose and Lily, far from damsels in distress. This crew sets about revolutionizing their school and rescuing people as well. Q11. The directors of 22 Jump Street were working on which other movie at the same time? 21 Jump Street, The Interview, The Lego Movie. They're multi-talented. They can multitask at the same time. These guys were double dipping. Yeah, they were, but they didn't jump backwards. They moonlighted with the Lego movie. You're building something big right there. 8,000 of you are. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller are a busy duo. After many a day of shooting 22 Jump Street, they'd review clips from the other movie they were directing, Lego, and let's go to Q12. What does Rudy achieve in the film's climactic scene, final play of the game, touchdown, sack? Interception. You're getting a little Rudy in the chatty. I see ya. If you weren't for interception, you just intercepted your own win. Yeah, you didn't expect that. Sack is the answer. Did you sack that? Yes, you did. 8,695 of you. This is a feel-good movie about a wannabe football star with his sights set on playing at Notre Dame. He wasn't exactly good, but he did get a sack in the final play. At least that's something. Q. 13. Of these actors, which has not played the same titular collegiate character as the other two? Jerry Lewis, Eddie Murphy, Gene Wilder. One of them does not belong here. We're not talking students this time. We are talking professors and a naughty one at that, but not Gene Wilder. You're wilding out right now. 3,000 366 of you. One of Eddie's best known roles is the nutty professor, chunky teacher with a heart of gold. It was actually a remake of a 96, 1963 version starring Jerry Lewis. Two questions to go play as Q14. Who does this character think he is running from in this scene? Look at him go. Who does he think he's running from? Russians, the Mafia, the FBI. Turns out it actually wasn't any of them. But who did he think it was? On his trail, hot on his trail right there. 
Professor Nash was just trying to give a lecture, but it was rudely interrupted by the Russians. Or so he thought. You're rushing on. Two thousand four hundred and sixty-four. Nash was suffering from paranoia at the height of the Cold War. Those Russians turned out to be psychologists. Even scarier. Get ready for more mind games, because we are heading into the final round with 2,464 players left in the game. Almost a thousand using extra lives to get back in. We've got five thousand dollars in the bag tonight. Who's going to take home the cash? Good luck, players. It's Q15. Which professor-based movie earned the most money at the domestic box office? Flubber, Mona Lisa Smile, The Great Debaters. Which one was the biggest hit financially? All three movies performed well at the box office, but which one was the biggest cash cow? This remake raked in 93 milli in the US alone, starring Robin Williams as an absent-minded professor. I hope you didn't flub this one. It's Flubber for the win tonight. We have 1,141 winners. You smashed it! <laughs> I am flubbergasted right now. Well done to our 1,141 winners tonight. $4.38 you are taking home. We've got Scoot Spoo right there and Star 57 taking home more than 57. Coolio 74 feeling pretty cool about your win. Sand Hef, that's a pretty blooming flower right there. What is that, chrysanthemum? No, not quite. Silverjoy 2 is overjoyed right now about that win four dollars 38 cents not bad not bad at all great game players you worldly and wise wonderful people you came you played you slayed i'm sharon carboner here's where you can find me yeah stop by say hi don't be shy we're back tomorrow with more trivia at 9 p.m followed by words at 9 30. don't miss either if you're after that perfect attendance prize all right i'll see you soon guys until then have a great night bye